The beauty of where the sky meets the bay is exactly where nine-year-old Molly Sampson wants to be just about every day. We hiked about a mile from her home in Prince Frederick with her parents and sister to the beach north of Calvert Cliff State Park. Look what I found. <laughs> The shark tooth from an extinct megalodon is almost the size of her palm and somewhere around 12 million years old. It measures five inches and it's a rare find according to Calvert Marine Museum. So Molly's tooth uh, was in the 45 to 50 foot long uh, megalodon size. Uh, you know, it was kind of equivalent to a Molly sized megalodon, right? The shark that shed that tooth had a lot of living to do. It was like this and I just looked over and it was in the water and I just like reached in and grabbed. She grabbed a gift in knee deep water on Christmas morning. She put on her brand new waders and her dad took her down to a private beach nearby. It's like a treasure hunt to try and find them. Bruce Sampson has taught his daughters how to look for fossils. So they're using the attention Molly is receiving to pass along some skills. What we talk about when we're looking for shark's teeth is looking in the areas where that you have the deposits of larger uh, material and shells and, and uh, gravel and stuff like that. That's ten typically where you're going to find a lot more of your shark's teeth. He showed us just how easy it is to walk over fossils. This is what he saw while out with his mom, Molly's grandmother. That So she walked right over top of it and I just happened to be curious enough when I was looking at it I saw a chunk of something and I flicked it over. This is what you would normally see and you think, oh, that's cool. It's a whale bone. But I happened to see that after she had passed over it and I kicked it. And exposed a tooth. And if someone's out here, uh, you shouldn't be discouraged. Yeah. It's not like the beach is clear. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, it, they, they're going to look for that. They're going to see the things that are on the surface, but that doesn't mean you can't go through and kind of stir the stir the sand up a little bit. He says the waves help to stir up new finds that are likely coming from the cliffs. So you see, like the the ridges and the ravines mm -hmm. that go through the cliff, and those were who knows how far out they actually went into the bay, but they've just been progressively eroding over thousands of years. And each year you get uh, more material that, that erodes and falls out of those cliffs. They took the mega tooth into Dr. Stephen Godfrey, the curator of paleontology at Calvert Marine Museum. Fossils are just incredibly like amazing. They're like these little snapshots of organisms that are no longer alive today. We can tell what size the shark it came from. And so that will then tell us uh, about how old it was as an individual and it also tells us based on where she found it that that kind of shark was here on earth at that time. The museum is having a whale of a time with fossils found in recent months. And you'll notice that uh, the sediment kind of pops away. Dr. Godfrey and his staff are chipping away at the sediment that cemented on a whale skull and fell onto the beach. It represents the most complete fossil whale skull that has ever been collected from that section of Calvert Cliffs. It took several people to remove the 650 pound skull discovered by Cody Goddard from Pennsylvania. He uh, noticed that there was bone protruding from the front end of this big concretion. Now, this concretion wasn't in the cliffs. It had fallen out and it was on the beach. And Dr. Godfrey shows us the gashes in a vertebrae from a dolphin tail. These could only have been made by the tip of a shark tooth that bit into this dolphin's tail. There's nothing outdated about inspiring people from all over the world to get outside. Molly has received letters from France and India. Lawmakers in Maryland recognized her at the State House. Outside is the best place to be. And if you have a cool discovery, you can bring it into Calvert Marine Museum the first Friday of every month. Educators will help you identify you're finding. Just like we tell the kids all the time, it's, it's, it's really cool to be able to pick something up and, and realize that you're the first person that's ever held that. It's been out there for 15 million years and you're the first person to ever touch it, so it's unique to you. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.